Anyways, let's get going. Restore power. It's around one way. Can we go through this door? That'd be nice if we could. But we can't. Darn it. Oh great, we've got more guys here. Let's try to get back in here. Oh, we've got splitters. Ow, trying to dodge him. Ow! Come on. Ah, damn it. There we go. Not good. Now, wait a second. That's different. Anyways, what's the... Oh, wrong one. It's a different sequence this time. There we go. I have to make it out of here. Somehow. Not quite. Okay. There we go. Oh crap! Ow! Oh no! I was getting so damn close to the light. That's what I was trying to do. Eh, flashbang will be useful. Anyways. There we go. Okay, and through here. There's so many of them. Oh crap. It's like, where the hell do you come from? Anyways, let's get to the light here, heal up a little. Okay. Now. What's this here? Crossbow ammo. That's not where I'm supposed to go. Ooh, SMG ammo. No, 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 no. You're Crap. never getting out of this wake. Never. Don't worry. I'll take care of your wife and your life. No, you won't. Now we've got another song. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Well, that's not good. You really think so? Ow, come on! Get off of me! No! There's too many of them! Ah, 
Great, now I'm back here again. Which means... Yep. You're never getting out of this wake, never! Don't worry, I'll take care of your wife and your life! Got a stupid cutscene. other down okay so that's that first group done I have another group coming up here off to the side oh hello looks like there's a page over this way. Come on. Gotcha. This one's new. Serena and Mr. Scratch. When the dark man's eyes suddenly locked into Serena's, she flushed hot. They ignited a black fire in her. He was talking. He wanted the power turned off. He said something about the projector booth. She hooked a finger under his belt buckle. He grabbed a hold of her throat and twisted until it hurt. Somewhere deep inside, a part of her screamed in paralyzed horror. But the moan that escaped from her throat had no panic in it. Pay attention, he said. Business first. His eyes glittered shamelessly. Hers did too. Interesting. Okay. I don't want to go to the projector booth quite yet. Although there is. What? You think whatever it is you're gonna do is gonna make a difference? This will end up just like before. You sure about that? Go. Flare gun. What do we have here? I've been around for a while now, you know? While well, you've been indisposed, stuck in the darkness. I've been busy. I operate in the shadows. Not always literally, you understand. I'm a little more resilient than those I've taken. But I do my best work in the dark. Uh, and there's so much darkness out there that goes deep. And the things that live in it are fast, big bastards. Uh, they don't mind getting a little bit of elbow room. All that chaos and madness, it doesn't really do that much down there. It's like pouring a glass of water into the ocean, right? But up here? Yeah, you can really make an impact. All they need is someone to bring them all the way through. But first, I had to take care of you. Really? You party pooper. You're stuck in an eternal cycle now. The sun's never coming up for you. Everything else, do my thing, get a bit of quality time with Alice. <laughs> That's a little something for me. And I deserve it. Okay, I'm back on here. I don't want to go straight to the projector booth yet. I want to see if there's anything I can do, talk to Serena or anything. Let's 
first I have to get over there. Yeah, I know, Alan. You're getting a little bit winded. Oh, there's a page here. Didn't know about that. Guess it's because I never came back this way my first time through. It's like I don't know why I missed that other page first time through either. Alice's film. I held the film canister in my hands. I saw her name written across it in big letters followed by the title. It was a time capsule. Moments snatched from times gone by. From a past that I hoped could also be our future. It was my salvation. Our salvation. Our chance to be together. A tin can with a bit of magic in it that she didn't even know about. Something I could put to good use. There were only moments left before I had to face him. Yep. Okay. Oh, wait a second. What's that flashing over there? Is that another page? Yes, it is. There we go. The clothes. The clothes I wear now I shaped from dreams and memories. It's an old outfit originally from the 90s. The last time I wore it was when I was still riding and Alice and I took a vacation in the desert before our troubles began. The night before, we'd been at a party and I had dressed to the nines. On that lazy day, I put on these old clothes, worn and comfortable. Alice made a joke about grunge. I felt a little embarrassed, but I stuck with them. We were very happy. I'm sheathed in good memories to remind myself of what is at stake. Hmm. Well, that at least explains why he's dressed the way he is. Let's see. The pages I'm missing here are Grenadier, Equilibrium, Mr. Scratch's Trap. In the Observatory, I've gotten them all, and in the rest stop, I'm just missing two at the tail end. Emma Sloan and Barry and the Old Gods. Anyways, now let's go help Serena. Turn the lights on again for her one last time. There we go. Oh, hey. I'm hoping I can put an end to this now. You'd better. I really don't want that to happen to me again. It's like somebody vomited in my brain. Like a sleazy movie that keeps looping in my head. I'll stop this, I swear. You know the part that's really screwed up? If you mess it up, it'll just keep happening forever, right? I don't think I can deal with that. Don't think about that. I don't think of anything but. <laughs> hey, afterwards, when all this is done, look me up. This thing, I can probably help you deal with it. I don't know. It's almost like I'm not even in the same world anymore. Everything's just weird now. Yeah, I know. A lot of that'll pass with time. But being touched by the darkness, it's rough on you. It's a lot to process. And I just don't want you to get completely screwed up by this. Might be a little late for that, to be honest. Yeah, well, there's degrees. At least you're not at a point where you go around picking fights with people over not changing their light bulbs often enough. <laughs> what? Never mind. All I'm saying is, you're not alone with this. And anyway, you're friends with Alice, so, you know, any friend of hers. Thank you. Yep. Now, is there anything on that radio to see? Or rather, here? Looks like it. Hello, folks, and welcome to the third part.